Hello everybody, this is Shane from TC Geeks, and this is Ask Shane number four. So, uh, this one, oh, by the way, um, Ask Shane is a little, uh, it's a little service I provide on TC Geeks, and I have a forum over there, and it's, um, it's under the Ask Shane on the navigation bar, and you can fill it out. If you have an iPad question, need some advice, or just want a solution, you can um, submit it, and I will answer it in a YouTube video. So, anyway, the question today is from Terry. And Terry says, Shane, we have bought an air-enabled HP printer and synced it to the wireless hub. We can now print off emails from the iPad by forwarding the email to the new printer's email address. That works great, by the way, I've tried it. Um, on Safari, we can select, say, a voucher to use in a restaurant and it will say print. On pressing print, it doesn't print out on the printer and I can't find a way to make this happen. Help. Okay, tear it. So, um, on the... On the HPs, um, and I assume this is probably the D110A, possibly. Um, the uh, the D110As are enabled with AirPrint, and AirPrint um, is the technology that you can use to print from your iPad to a printer over the air, and. <clears throat> but it does require that you have an AirPrint enabled printer. Now, there have been issues with it. It has been known not to work. Most of the time it works, but with the HPs, the cool thing is, if it's an e-printer, then when you set the printer up, it assigns it an email address. And so let's say you're you know, at a restaurant and you have Wi-Fi or 3G and you wanna send a print, you know, you can um, just send a document to the email address of the printer and it'll print no matter where you're at. It's pretty cool. So um, this, this is, uh, if it's not working though, if AirPrint doesn't work, there's a couple of things that you can do. One of the things that you can do is make sure, now you mentioned uh, that this was in Safari. So, one of the things I would do is I would go over to pages or I would go over to a photo, um, something else, kind of, you know, get out of Safari, go into something else and print. Now, when you print, make sure that when you select the print, that the name of the printer actually comes up and make sure that you see it because if you don't see it, and it's called something else, or it, it looks strange, it may be that your iPad isn't seeing it. If it does see it, and you select it, it should print. If it doesn't print, then I would say this. Either there's a problem with the printer, or there's a problem with the iPad itself. So the first thing I would do is I would reset the iPad and hold down the home button, hold the on-off switch, so hold the on-off switch and the home button at the same time, and do that for about 15 seconds. And what will happen is you'll see this little red slider come up, keep holding it. And all of a sudden you'll see the iPad just completely shut off. And then the little silver apple will come up and it will you know, eventually come back. So what you've done is you've reset it. Um, and you know, this actually might not be a bad idea since if you just got the printer and you're just, you know, experimenting uh, with AirPrint. So that's one thing you can do. Um, another thing you can do is check with, well, I think the updated, I don't think there's an issue with any of the printer drivers because they wouldn't be on the iPad anyway. So um, that's one thing you can do is just restart the, uh, um, iPad. I would start there. I would also try to print something else. Try to print a photo, try to print, you know, uh, something else other than in Safari. 
Um, I have heard of issues with printing from Safari, so maybe that's it. Um, good news is that you can email it and print it. I, I think that's cool and I'm glad that's working. But again, I would still try to print something else. If, and if you can't, I would definitely try to uh, go in there and reset the iPad. I don't think you need to go as far as restoring the iPad. I think that's probably a bit extreme in this case. Um, so try that. And again, if none of that works, come back and let me know. Um, and we can try some other things, but try those first. Um, you know, I've used AirPrint a few times, and I have to say, there's been a few times when things just didn't print. And I did a reset, and all of a sudden, things just magically started working. So, you know, that's the best place to start. And I do hope that helps out a little bit. Um, and this has been Shane, and Ask Shane from TC Geeks. Thank you.